Hello everyone. In this quick video, I want to introduce you to Enterprise Skills Initiative Learning Platform from Microsoft. To access the portal, go to esi.microsoft.com. To log in and access the portal, your enterprise organization need to have a collaboration with Microsoft to provide you access to this portal. What I have seen is many organizations already have an existing relationship with Microsoft, so you should be able to log in with your username and password, which is your existing Office 365 username and password. So if you are in this portal for the first time, register yourself to sign in. So I just signed in with my organization's username and password. So on the top right hand corner, you can see various options within this portal. The first one is Microsoft Learn. So many of you are already aware of what Microsoft Learn is. It's a learning platform from Microsoft where you can get a short, crisp content and videos to learn about a particular topic. The second option is to go directly to Microsoft Virtual Training Days. So click on that to access your training calendar. On the left hand side, you can pick the specific role you would like to attend the training for. So based on your selections, you can find different trainings available from the Virtual Training Day. These trainings not only give you that one day training on that specific topic, it can give you an examination voucher if you attend these trainings. So there are varieties of trainings available within Microsoft Virtual Training Day, not only the fundamental certifications training. The third option within this portal is Microsoft Delivered Courses. This is where trainings are delivered by Microsoft experts and these trainings are in-depth and involve a lot of hands-on trainings. Most of the trainings are scheduled for one or one to five days. So one thing to watch out here is if you have registered for one of the Microsoft led training and if you don't show up, you might not get seen next time when you try to register. So if you are not planning to attend these trainings, I would highly encourage you to go to the registration page and you mark it as you cannot attend. So that seed can go to somebody else. Another option within this portal is learning partner trainings. This is where third party learning partners can host their own training. By going into this particular portal, you will be able to get discounted rates on these third party trainings. The next very important option within this portal is exam preparation. So think of these sessions are like a cram sessions just before your examination. So you would have studied something for this SC900 certification and Microsoft instructor will come to this particular course and give you a brief overview about what are the things you can expect on that examination and you can gauge yourself by going through the cram session. Are you ready to sit for that examination? So these trainings are very useful. The next one is Microsoft certification. So many people reach out to me asking where can I find free practice test? I would encourage them to go to this particular website. Because as you can see that for all of these exam listed over here, there is practice test available and these practice tests are free. So you can simply click on this practice test and click on continue to launch the practice test to try out these examination questions. So once you start using this practice test, usually this practice test is available for free for 30 days. The next one is productivity workshop. This is where you can join Microsoft interactive live trainings to skill up yourself on Power BI and other technologies. And the last one is Microsoft Learn Cloud Games. This is where you can get hands-on experience on Microsoft technologies and you can use this platform however you want without worrying about ruining the environment or changing something which you typically won't do on a production environment. So. It's a simulated environment where you can log in and try out a lot of technologies what you are actually learned from the virtual training or Microsoft Learn. Another cool tip is first time when you register for this ESI initiative, you can specify what sort of a role you are planning to learn. So I put down solutions architect. So all the curated list of trainings available for a solutions architect will be displayed on my home page. Similarly, if you are starting with fundamentals, you can mention that. So you get the curated list of fundamentals training when you launch this website. I hope the information provided in this quick video was helpful. I will see you on the next one. Until then, take care.